Alrighty, uh, we will just do a quick little tutorial or guide here on uh, how to export a model from Dark Souls 3 into Blender. Um, you will need a couple of things for it, um, at least the way that I have been doing it or whatever, um, but the way that I do it and maybe helpful for you is I use Blender and then you will need a Blender extension that makes it so you can import some source uh, models and then I will link that. You'll also need the DS3 Explorer program here and you will also need the DS Map Studio program. Um, for the DS Map Studios, if you have not installed it before and you're running it for the first time, it will likely require you to get the get a Netcore uh, extension or download for Microsoft for it to run properly. Um, and then DS3 Explorer will require, I believe, for your uh, DS3 game to be unpacked with UXM. Um, so you will need that too, I believe. Um, that out of the way, you will also probably like to have a conversion program to convert the uh, FLVER or model file from Dark Souls 3 into a source model so that you can open it in Blender, which you will use probably here the uh, Bloodborne tools. All of these things will be linked as well. And then that there should cover uh, as much as you're going to need in terms of tools there, I believe. So what we will do is we will go ahead and try and find a model that we want to use. Um, I'm thinking something along the lines of a Black Knight just because they're pretty iconic and cool to the series and they're pretty easy to find. So we'll open up DS Map Studios. If it's the first time that you've opened it or you've moved files around for your game, you will need to also um, map the game executable uh, for it to populate a map list here. Um, if you don't know what each map is, I will put a link in the description for um, a list uh, kind of going through what each one of these is in the game. M40 is Firelink Shrine, and I know that there's some Black Knights in there. Um, a little bit later in the game, so we will go find those. To move around, you're just going to want to hold down right click and use WASD to move. You can hold down shift to essentially sprint uh, or speed up your flying. And we'll just go right over here to a Black Knight. We will left click on him and we will just look for a model name here right over on the side, and it is. C1300 is their model name. So at this point you can write that down, copy and paste it in a notepad, anything like that, or just remember because it's not all too crazy. But that's all we're gonna need for this for now. So we'll close that. And then we will go open up DS3 Explorer. And like I said earlier, this will need your um, game to be unpacked with UXM for it to operate. You will also need to map the game's executable uh, in the process here as well and then you will get these options. Um, I believe that character models are stored in data three here. So we will just kind of scroll down into that to explore a little bit. And then we're gonna just wanna find um, C1300, which is the Black Knight. So here we are with a couple of options here. The ones that we care about are gonna be the character bnd.dcx and texture bnd.dcx. So we can open that up a little bit. We see the little fiber right there. You can double click on it to populate it over here in the viewing screen. Since we know that that's what we want, we're just gonna go ahead and right click on it and then click extract. And when you extract, it's gonna go to wherever you have your output directory set up to, which you can change at any time down here with the little browse button there. So we have the model exported and we want the textures too. So we're gonna go to the textbnd.dcx here and we will grab the TPF for that. We'll just right click it, extract that as well. And then that's all we need for DS3 Explorer. We'll close that 
and then we'll go to our output directory for those exports there. Uh, sometimes if you've moved things around it'll kind of populate some different folders here. Uh, for my instance it's going to be in the FDP all the way into data, just keep on clicking in. And since it's a character, it's going to be in the character folder here. And it's going to be C1300. So, what we've got going on right here is we've got the TPF or texture file, we've got the model, and then we have this cute little ASCII, which is actually a leftover from a previous project that I was working on. So, I'm just going to delete that to avoid any confusion. You do not need that right now, that's not important to you, just these two things. At this point now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to convert that fiber to a source model, which you can do by opening up the Bloodborne tools here. And I'm just going to drag that over to model V3. Do a little bit of work in there, and that's where you're going to get the ASCII. I still haven't had to use that for anything here. What you want is the SMD. So for the sake of simplicity here, I'm just going to take that SMD and drop it onto my desktop. And then I'm going to close that folder there. Next up, we're just going to open up Blender. Let it load. Alright, get rid of our cute little cube there. And if you have that source model uh, extension working and properly installed, you'll just want to go up to File, Import, Source Engine, and then go find your little SMD. I put it on the desktop there, so c1300.smd click import it takes a second here and it'll throw up a couple of uh, messages on the screen here which is always cool who cares doesn't really bother me if you just want the model that's how you get it there so here you are with a model from Dark Souls 3 inside of blender now um, from this point there's a number of things that you could probably do with that um, as far as my knowledge goes right now at this uh, moment of uploading I'm about as far as getting the model in here and kind of starting to swap them around a little bit with some character models But I do not have that fully fleshed out in the way of making a guide for that yet, but there will be one um, soon, so just hang around and uh, Ask questions. I will try to answer uh, if I have them and if I don't check out the uh, server name discord there's a lot of really cool people in there that have a lot more answers than I do so um, that right there is a quick little guide on uh, getting some Dark Souls 3 models into blender thanks for hanging out